Good Monday morning to you. No case of the Mondays today. Thanksgiving right around the corner. Just had a huge hog win. They're going bowling. The weather's fantastic. Mm -hmm. The ducks in the woods are flying. No case for the Mondays today. There you go. Yeah, a, a great start to our day, too. Weather's looking good across the region as well. So that's making it even better for yeah, us. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely. No doubt about it. We've got to get to uh, breaking news right now, happening right now. Hundreds searching the town of Searcy for a missing two-year-old boy. Searcy police say Malik Drummond wandered away from his home around 545 Sunday night. He was last seen wearing brown pants and a blue shirt. Ken Bufa joins us on the phone right now from Searcy. And Ken, you've been with the efforts all morning long into the evening last night. Talk to me about, uh, about what's going on right now, Ken. Well, right now, it is pretty thinned out when it comes to volunteers and those looking for the child. Earlier today, there was hundreds of people crowding the streets armed with flashlights. They were volunteers, neighbors, family, friends, all looking for this two-year-old boy, Malik Drummond, who police say just wandered off from his home. Now, earlier today, there was 30 to 40 policemen with those people looking for that young boy, and they had no such luck. That's when they called in the search dog from Memphis, and those dogs went out with the scent looking for the child. First, we went east on the road, then they went west. Then they headed down a couple blocks away to Spring Park. That's where police say the dog obviously had something there, but it wasn't the child. They say that earlier, parents told him the child would often play there, so sometimes the dog can pick up a scent from that. After about a two-hour search, the dogs were called back. They have taken off now. Standing outside of the house are about four or five volunteers waiting to hear any news about this child. Police told me they are still looking around the blocks for them. You see officers across the street in a big pile of wood searching with flashlights, but still no sign of two-year-old Malik Drummond. They're asking anyone with information to contact them as the search continues here in Searcy. Just looking around, I'd say well over 100 people right now out here looking. Um, our department alone, we're probably around 40 officers off duty, on duty. Um, I know the White County Sheriff's Office is out here helping us, the uh, Searcy Fire Department. Uh, a situation like this, everybody in the, the community will come together to locate the small child. And the community has come together. Take a look. This is the little autistic two-year-old boy we learned that earlier from the state police. He wandered off from the home on the 700 block. let you know but for now there's just a few people outside of the house cops circling and it's still no sign of the two-year-old boy hey ken your phone was breaking up repeat the medical concerns once again for malik yeah absolutely uh state police tell us that the little boy is autistic so he's very nonverbal, according to the mother so talking might be hard for him but that's not doing anything search efforts here. They're still looking. They're screaming. The mother earlier today was up and down the street screaming his name, hoping that her voice would send him to her. All right. Ken Bufa, thank you so much. Ken has been covering this story throughout. Again, any information that you may have, whether it be you think you saw him, you may have seen him, or you just want to get the word out. If you've seen him, call police. But if you want to get the word out, go to our Facebook page. Here's the picture of Malik Drummond, two-year-old autistic boy missing in Searcy. Make sure you share this picture on all your social media outlets because this is the best possible way to get Malik back home this morning. Again, Malik Drummond, two years old, an autistic boy missing since about 545 Sunday night. The search continues. We will have crews live on the scene. Shannon Miller just got there. Ken has been there uh, all night long. Shannon will be there throughout the morning. We'll have live reports as the search continues. In other news,